Today, we're recording a Dell Dimension E520 desktop. Let me show you what's wrong. Do you see those capacitors? Those capacitors are everything wrong with the world. If it can go wrong, it will go wrong, and it will go wrong with those capacitors. Do you see how there's a rupture? It's pretty bad. We're going to get that out and we're going to clean it up. So here's our capacitor travesty. You can see very clearly what's going on. It's pretty ugly. That's gross. So we're going to replace these now. Let's discuss the quickest way to do this. Normally, you'd take this iron that I've got heated up already. Normally, you'd take this and you'd fry these bad boys off and swap them out. Problem is, even with a hot iron, a lot of these irons ain't going to be so hot. So, we want to get this off of here both of these but if I try to heat it it's not going to work very well we have to do something else so much damn time get the crud off the tip so normally what we would do is we'd hit the solder on the back of these with this iron which is what we're going to do eventually but the problem is that even if you hit it and you try to pull on it the board is going to sink a lot of the heat away making it more difficult to pull the component out now I have a solution and that solution is a heat gun we're going to heat the board up with the heat gun
all around the general area. I have an infrared thermometer. You don't have to use one, but I have one, so I'm going to use it. Yep, that's pretty hot. So that board, at that point, is near the temperature at which solder melts anyway. Let's go ahead. Oh, it's a brand new heat gun, and the oil's burning off. That's always fun. Ooh. Okay. So now, we need to get these capacitors out. The board's hot, so you have to be very careful. Oh yeah, that solder just flows. Oh, it flows. It flows beautifully. Here. Let me give you a better view of what's going on. This solder right here flows great. Let's get these stupid capacitors off of here. All right, top one first. Since the board is so hot, this will be very easy. Sorry, you can't watch this part. I can give you a little view, I think. Grab this. Hold it, hold the board up with your chest, or something a little bit more sane, if you're not me, and get that component out. There's one. It's so much easier when you heat gun it out. There's two. What are they? These are 6.3 2200s. That's basically it. You can do the same thing putting it back in. Heat gun it and then solder it in. That's all there is to it.